Uh, Nigel, let's start with you personally. How, how good did it feel to get into a rhythm today? Uh, it felt great. Um, just being able to build up my confidence. Um, my teammates kept finding me, so it was made it even better. Um, just being able to shoot the ball and be able to see the ball go in is probably the best feeling for any any basketball player. Did you feel like particularly in the second half, and there were some times in the first half, the ball moved better today than it has been? I feel like in general, I mean, we've seen that that culture and that that chemistry that we've been looking for 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 a minute. I mean, we had it early in the season and we started losing it. And then now I feel like we're starting to get it back as we go into the second half of the season, which would be really key for us to get some big wins going down the stretch. And going down the stretch of this game, what went wrong for you guys? I mean, um, we just didn't uh, get big shots that we needed down the stretch. Um, I can blame myself for one. Um, a turnover at the end of the game is really is, is not acceptable. Um, definitely, definitely sucks, but um, it is a learning lesson. And um, we can de we definitely got way more games to play and way more end of the game opportunities. And I feel like we'd be able to succeed in them um, going um, going down the stretch from now on. How good was that A&M pressure? Uh, they were a good team. I mean, coming off just playing Baylor, one of the best defensive teams in the country, playing Texas Tech, another one of the as teams in the country, I mean, they're another good defensive team, and I feel like their pressure all game long is really good for them, and it really works for them. Thanks, Nigel. Okay. Um, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Nigel, just how hard is it to uh, have to weigh things after a game like this where you play a terrific individual game, but then the team still loses? I mean, it sucks. I mean, only goes down if, if you win the game. I mean, that's what I, that's how I see it. Um, players that, you know, have great games and then they lose are really not talked about. I feel like if you have a great game and you win, that's all that matters. So if I got to have an okay game for us to win, then I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. Did it feel like they were really trying to take you away there in the last couple of minutes? Uh, I just felt like, I mean, second half, they started to adjust. I mean, that's what any good team would do, any good coach. They realized that, hey, this guy keeps hitting some shots. Um, we need to focus, not let him get shots. And that's where uh, I was able to find my teammates, and they were open. We just weren't able to knock the shots down. Was It seemed that just looking at the bench and everything, the intensity level was maybe a little higher overall today than it has been lately. Did you sense that? I definitely did. Um, coach, coach, you know, has been talking nothing but positive energy around us. I mean, he hasn't done but the right to be negative with us. He's always positive. He's a great guy. And he always tells us, you know, keep our heads up. He told us to come out today and smile. I had to remind my guys a few times to smile throughout the game. And when you smile, good things will happen for you. All right. Thanks, Nigel. Thank you. Okay, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Nigel, did you, did you feel like playing a little bit more inside out gave you guys a little bit better offensive work? Could you repeat that? I can I can really understand you. Did you, did you feel like playing like inside, inside out a little, little bit better, better gave you guys some better looks on offense? Looks on offense. I mean, I feel like the inside out game is always um, very key. I mean, as I've always been told, coming up, um, just like it, with football, the running sets up the pass, and the pass sets up the running. So, if you look inside and you get it out sets up your outside game, and then you get it inside, then they can converge in. I mean, it's just, it's really, a, it's like a chess game, really. We got to, we got to learn how to play it. Uh, I feel like we're getting that right now, and I feel like we're not going to keep getting better at it. And even though it's in a wash, do you feel like there's ability to, to gain some momentum from this? Yeah, I feel like there's always something you can learn out of a loss. I mean, if you, a loss is not truly a loss unless you get nothing out of it. Uh, I feel like we're going to get something out of it. Um, be able to watch film with the guys, watch film with our coaches. Um, they're great coaches, so they be able to pick out some things that we need to get better at, and we'll be able to get better at it in practice tomorrow and be ready for our next game. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Nigel, could, could you just, you know, describe what is it like as, as a shooter uh, when you get into a rhythm like you did in that second half? What, can you just uh, describe, like, for people who aren't at your level, just what that's like? I mean, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, you see Walker did that a few times. I mean, it's like a dream come true. I mean, every time you work out, every time you put up extra shots, this is what you dream for, this is what you work for to be able to get in the game and be able to make shots. And that's what was able to happen for me. I was blessed to be able to start making shots. The second half, first half was really a struggle. Um, second half, I was able to make shots. It felt really good. Um, I mean, 
I wish I could have done a little bit more. I wish I wish we could have won the game. That would have been an even better feeling. And even my own individual uh, accolades, I feel like if we won the game, it wouldn't have really mattered. Nigel, is this what it's like? Uh, I mean, every time that we talk to Bruce, he just always says, anytime in practice that Nigel ever misses from a three, we're just shocked. So is this is this kind of what it looks more like when, when we're not here in the arena seeing you shoot? I um, mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to uh, talk about myself too much, but I mean, I, I put in a lot of work for my jump shot. I mean, coming up, it was a struggle. Uh, I didn't went through a couple different jump shots. I didn't change my jump shot a few times, and it feels really good to be able to see the new and improved jump shot that I've, I've changed to. And I've worked many, many hours for to be able to uh, pay off in the game, many hours in the gym. Um, just being able to see all this, this stuff pay off really feels good for me. Hey, Nigel, thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, guys, I got knocked off for a second. Um, next question to John Kurtz. Nigel, I was going to ask just uh, how tough it was, <laughs> excuse me, for you John to. Kurtz. How tough was it for you to sit out for, for a handful of games there? What was that period like for you? I mean, it sucked. Um, being able not to be out there, help my brothers. Um, being, but watching them on TV, you know, and watching them practice really, you know, made me take a step back and uh, get, get more mentally into the game. Uh, I've been told many, many times that the game is not just physical, it's also mental. Um, everything happens for a reason. I mean, I can't go back in the past and re redo it. But I think it helped me mentally be able to get sharper at the game, be able to see things from from a you know a fans and a player's perspective off the court, um, and be able to see things where I can implement myself in the game. And I feel like that make me a better player. Did you need the game at Baylor just to kind of get your legs back under you? Like how, how much better were you feeling today as opposed to the other day? I mean, Baylor's a really good team. Um, going out, I mean, first game back, uh, I had a few practices back uh, before. I had a few workouts and things like that, but it's nothing like playing in the game. I mean, practicing in the game is totally different. Um, I mean, going out, you know, being able to see a couple shots go through at Baylor, you know, kind of boosting my confidence. And then coming here today, I feel like I'm just getting back on the roll for the, for the rest of the season. Appreciate it, Nigel. Thanks, man. Ryan, I just want to make sure. Did you did you have another yeah. question, Ryan Black? Yeah, I, I did, Tom, just because I got when we got knocked off for a second, it, I didn't okay. know kind of where it ended with Nigel. So, hey, okay. Nigel, I had just one more thing Sorry for about you. That. No, that's fine. Um, when you were in that rhythm that we've talked about in the second half, was there anything there, especially late in the huddles, that you just kind of mentioned to your guys, like, hey, you know, guys, I'm, I'm really hot. Will you look for me? Or did Bruce – I mean, you don't seem like you would say that. But like, or did Bruce kind of say, well, like, hey, guys, I mean, look, look at how Nigel was shooting. Try to find him on, on offense. Hey, man. I mean, I think our guys got, you know, pretty good Thanks. IQ. Um, I feel like that's what we've been, you know, talking with each other on these last couple of games. I mean, if you see a guy make a shot, we got to go back to him. Uh, I feel like that's what some things that we, we started to pick up on. Um, I feel like our guys started to know, like, hey, he's in the rhythm. Let's try to give him another one. Coach started to go on, plays go up on, for me. I mean, everybody's just finishing. You know, happy last for question. Us. So. I feel like um, when one person's happy for another, that's when good things happen for us. Thank you so much, Nigel. 